Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am showing you the most delicious way to roast your sweet potatoes. Now, just to be clear, there are several different varieties of sweet potato. You have sweet potatoes like this guy who tend to be a little more light and pale, and then when it's cooked, they're a little firmer and more nutty in flavor. And then you've got sweet potatoes like this. They're more golden and orange. They're also called yams, and when they're cooked up, they tend to be a little softer and sweeter. But for the sake of this recipe, either of these and pretty much any other variety of sweet potato will work beautifully. And as a matter of fact, what I love to do is a combination. The first thing I do is give them a good rinse under some cold water. I'm not gonna be removing the skins for this recipe because that's where all the nutrients are and they're really good and crispy when they cook up. So make sure you get them nice and clean. Then I bring them over to the board and I'm gonna trim off each end. Then if it's a big potato like this guy, I'm gonna cut it in half, then stand it up and then come up over the top and push straight down so I have two big boards. Then I'm gonna slice them into three pieces and come back across the other way to make these nice, big, hearty chunks. Now, for these guys, because they're a little bit smaller, what I'll do is trim off the ends, stand it up, cut it in half, then I'm just gonna cut them in half lengthwise again, because that's all we need to do to get those big, fat chunks, and then boom, boom, boom. Then I'm just gonna get my potatoes onto a rimmed baking sheet. And whenever I do high roasted recipes like this one, I always use my old baking sheets, just like this. Then drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil, season with salt, pepper, and a sprinkle of garlic powder. Gently toss that together with your hands, making sure that all of the potatoes have a nice light coating of the oil and the spices. And just make sure that you have enough space between the potatoes because when you're roasting, you want to get that golden caramelized flavor. And if everything's too close and squished together, it's going to end up steaming and it's not going to work. And then I'm going to transfer this into a 425 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes on the first side. Then you get them all crispy golden brown, flip them over and pop them back in just for another five to eight minutes until they're tender and golden. And then when they come out, you are gonna have these toasty, crispy, golden, beautiful roasted sweet potatoes that are nice and tender on the inside. Mm. Dare I say that these are even better than french fries. When I make them for my kids, I serve them with a little ketchup on the side and they eat the entire plate. I mean, you can really serve these as a side dish to anything you're eating and they are also delicious with eggs. I'm gonna leave all the details down in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. Give this video a big thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Sweet potatoes, also known as yams. Oh, am I on camera? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's do that again. I wasn't looking, was I? Hmm. Those are really good.